After 46 games and a playoff semi-final, it comes down to today for Dulwich Hamlet and Hendon as they seek a National League South spot for the first time in their respective histories. Since 2011, Dulwich have lost playoff finals to Leatherhead, East Thurrock and Bognor Regis twice. But today's game is the first final under Gavin Rose to have been at home. An Ashley Crew moment of magic was enough to settle Thursday's semi with Layston. And Rose brings in Anthony Achimpong and Nathan Ferguson today. Ricky Hales has passed the fitness test to captain the side. Hendon have also experienced heartbreak in the playoff final as they controversially lost to Margate in 2015. They produced a scintillating first half display against Folkson on Thursday as a goal from each of their front four led them to a comfortable win. Luke Tingey replaces James Hammond in the sole change. So can the Hamlet finally end their playoff hoodoo? Or will Hendon spoil the fairy tale ending to a difficult season for the hosts? Sprague centres. A free header, no one had picked up the run of Josh Walker, who scored the winner against Dulwich back in September. Any questions asked amongst the Dulwich defenders there, who was meant to be picking up the number seven? Walker, thankfully for the host, couldn't test Tangara. Danger not gone though, Casey McLaren. Locked off, here goes Clunis. Tomlin, try to play around the corner, it's deflected nicely from Ferguson. Clunis has got space, they can play him in. Yes, he can. Clunis, oh, wrong option, is it? Alassani, good save by Lovelock. Thought the chance might have gone when Clunis didn't go for goal himself. Alassani made a chance out of it, and it stings the palms of the goalkeeper. Clunis, 20 goals this season, tried to tee up his teammate. Wonder if he could have taken a touch and gone for goal himself. Green trying to release Alassani, it's a lovely pass and Alassani has broken down to the left channel. Can he find a cross now, Alassani onto his right foot, still Alassani, chance for him, Alassani blocked by the defender. Won't deflect to a Dulwich man, just lacked the uh, pace in the shot more than anything. Amazing little run from Reese Alassani, he looks really up for this today. Second Dulwich corner of the afternoon. And Alassani and Tomlin go to mark the goalkeeper. Delivered by Ashley Carew. It's Green who gets up, helps it on, and nodded away. Move still alive. Back with Carew. Towards the far post. Too much on it. See what he was trying to do. I'm trying to bend that inside the far post. Hale's actually going for the same ball. Sprague. Oh, that's a poor touch, and Tomlin's in. Looks like Alassani in the middle for him. It's a tame cross from Gavin Tomlin. And needed more pace to find Alassani at the far post. Up in the air by Tingey. Green will tussle with Walker. Green got a little flick on that. Might find Alassani as a result. Lost where the ball was, though, Reese Alassani. Muir. Been harassed by Cargbo, as Cargbo likes to do. That's a good pass. And this is where they're bra dangerous breaking forwards. Walker to Nathaniel George. Don't let him on side onto his uh, right foot because he is good. And it slipped through Tangara and Hendon score. Mistake by Amadou Tangara. Slipped under his grasp. And Ashley Nathaniel George has another goal this season. Takes him to 17 and Hendon who have probably been second best so far, find themselves ahead. Muir slipped it on to Josh Walker, on to Nathaniel George to his left, and he came inside, and he has got a good right foot. That one should have been saved by Tangara. It's another mistake in a playoff final from a Dulwich player. Okay, I'll see you at half time. Cargbo was caught by an arm by McLaren. The referee's not spotted it. Ferguson. Dulwich ball, I think. Cargbo and McLaren squaring up now. And Ferguson also getting involved needlessly. Dulwich rattled. They need to calm themselves down. It's a warm day. McLaren did put an arm across the face of Cargbo. This referee didn't spot. Cargbo and then Ferguson needlessly going back to McLaren, let it go, move on. Ashley 
Ashley Nathaniel George just inside the Dulwich area chambers. Sorry, Green going with him. Finds Walker. There's a return pass on Nathaniel George. Gets in the shot. That's a good save by Tangara. Important save for the goalkeeper. Trying to find the bottom corner again. Palms it behind Tangara. Got down smartly. That's more like it from the Dulwich number one. Walker. Supported though by Chambers. Alassani. Lively first half. What will the second bring for him? Into the area, Alassani took a bobble. It's blocked by McLaren. It's goal bound shot. Alassani back forwards. Carew, good jump. Not down by Chambers. Oh, not quite linking up with Alassani. Dulles Rope. Hales does enough against Joseph. Green flicks down the line. Clever flick as well. Gavin Tomlin makes sure he gets hold of it first. Coming inside Tomlin. Reverse pass for Alassani. And he's, is he goal side of Lee? Momentarily he was. Does he go back? Tomlin. Still Tomlin. Great save. Oh, it's off the line. Carew thought he scored. It's Green. Dulles still on the attack. Cargbo. Carew. Good ball in. Oh, Tomlin must score. Does score. Dulwich are level. Gavin Tomlin. Sustained period of pressure. And they equalise. It's the man who's only got one goal all season. Who has done it? Huge moment for Dulwich Hamlet. Where Hendon thought the attack had died down. They'd prevented the first two chances. Carew must have thought he scored in the second one in particular, but then he put the ball in. Tomlin did all he could to miss the chance, but he pokes it home. One one. It only scored once this season in a League Cup game in October. Chambers with a diagonal free kick to the far side. Clunas looks to head it on. Doesn't get the first ball, will get the second. And picks out Tomlin. Good little pass down the line that from Naren Clunas. Held up by Sprague, Nathaniel George. Pokes it inside. Nice touch that. Clunas into the area. Clunas goes for goal. Off the crossbar. A real thunderbolt and it's hit the woodwork. <laughs> Dulwich could have turned the game around there. Tangara will let this go for a goal kick. Clunas. Put everything at that shot, through the kitchen, sink at it. And they hit the underside of the crossbar and stayed out. What a last few minutes it's been here. Dulles have done what they haven't been able to do in the last two years and come back from going a goal down. Here's Nathaniel George. Away from Cargbo, feints across, trying to sell Clunas the dummy. Clunas, to his credit, is standing up. Pull back, Muir's shot's blocked. Danger not cleared, great block, Ricky Hales. Walker looking to pull the trigger there. Eggleton, still Eggleton. Takes a deflection, and Ferguson prevents the corner. Muir, that was a chance for him. He hasn't had many this afternoon. Had an opening there. Nathaniel George taking Hatchin Pong with him. Big centre back, not giving him any space. Uses Tingi. He's gone for goal. That's ambitious. That's a long way over from uh, Luke Tingi. Once in a blue moon, he uh, scored from that sort of range. Tomlin. Cargbo. Rolls it wide. Clunis. As he got it away from Sprague. A little chip ball forward has nodded away. Clunas has it back. Great work, right? Naira and Clunas. Winning the ball off Muir. Crowd enjoyed that one. Carew now. Does he fancy a go for goal? Yes, he does. Easy for Lovelock, though. Trying to bend into the far corner, as he did against Layson. Alassani, Ferguson, Chambers, Hales, Tomlin, Achenpong, Green. 
all in that penalty area. They've packed it, Dulwich. McLaren does rejoin. Is this their moment? They seize control of this game. Floated in by Carew. Hatchin Pog gets up. Tipped over. Don't think he hit it properly. If I'm honest, Anthony Hatchin Pog nodded it into the ground. Need to be tipped over by Lovelock. Half a chance though for a man who's got a couple of goals in April. Carew to swing this in, having taken the free kick a moment ago. It's not a great ball in. Not a great clearance either, it's Clunis. Crew gets the second go. Doesn't need to. Clunis, he does go for goal, that was certainly travelling. Ferguson. Crew again, goes down, Mules nicks it off in, the counter attack is on, and Dulles needs to get men back. Nathaniel George. Here's Eggleton. Great work. Excellent defensive work from Achin Pong. Gavin Rose. You can see there, he was nervous. Had his head in his hands. Ashley Carew, lucky there. Hendon in no rush to send men forward. Cardbo, that's good work. Quick throw taken. Joseph. Hales shrugs him off the ball. Shot from McLaren! Just wide! What a save that is by Amadou Tangara, I think. Corner's given, he must have got a touch. A full stretch, the goalkeeper diverts it away for the corner. Struck so sweetly by the Hendon captain. It's getting nervy now. Watch the run of Ricky Hales here. Just hiding behind Green and Achim Pong. He's your man. Scored against Hendon already this season. Crew needs a good delivery to find him, of course. Referee looking for grappling. Crew floats in. Lovelock's come. Gets an important touch on that. Gets it away from harm for the time being. Ferguson retrieves the loose ball. Floats in. That's going in. Sells over the crossbar. I thought for a moment it was finding the top corner from Nathan Ferguson. Lovelock was backpedalling. Four minutes we will have. Oh, Is this the moment of destiny? Carew. Achin Pong knocks it down. Will it come to Hamlet Man? No, Muir gets his foot through that. Cargo's got to watch the bounce here. And that's the full time whistle, and it will be at least extra time to decide the winners of this Isthmian League playoff final. Dulwich were a goal down at the break. Gavin Tomlin, though. And the 54th minute, bringing down and uh, finishing off an Ashley Carew cross after he and Carew have both been denied. Naira and Clunis has hit the woodwork since then. The ending goal came in the first half. Ashley Nathaniel George with a long-range shot which squirmed through Tangara. Dulwich knocking on the door at the end there. Couldn't find a winner and it'll take extra time to, and maybe penalties to determine the winner of this year's Ismian uh, Premier Division playoff final. Dulwich won, Hendon won through 90 minutes. Ferguson, good flick down the line. Akinyemi can stretch his legs. Coming inside of Lee and back on the outside as well. Ball in is held by Lovelock. First real thing he's done since coming on Akinyemi. Really on the pace. Ming with a short throw to Ferguson. Back to Ming. Can he cross? He can. All the way it sells to Nathan Green. Cross deflects. It's the post. It's come for Ming. Gets it wrong. Huge chance for Dulwich. Green. I'm sure he wasn't going for goal there. Deflected against the outside of the post though. Could Ming have taken a touch? Only two goals this season, Sanchez Ming. Mention Pong. Akinyemi flicks it on. Quick thinking. Cargo's touch. 
and then looks to play it out to Green. It's a good ball that by Carway, perfectly weighted. Green can cross, it's a deep one. Lovelock's got to watch it. He's collided with the uh, post. I thought he might have got a touch on that. It's out for a goal kick, though. Lovelock could have had a nasty uh, injury there. Hit the post with some force. Long ball downfield. And Lovelock put himself under pressure there. Misjudged the flight of the ball. Dolly's given a throw deep in Hendon territory. This has to be perfect from Carew. Referee's ready. Up he steps. A straight at Lovelock. He got it on target, but it wasn't enough to beat Lovelock. <coughs> and that is the full-time whistle, and it will take penalties to determine the winner of this year's Isthmian League Premier Division playoff final. Dulwich were a goal down in the 36th minute. Ashley Nathaniel George with a shot from distance, which worked its way under Tangara to give them the league. Gavin Tomlin, though, in the ninth minute of the second half, Managed to hook home from close range. Clunas has hit the bar for Dulwich. We've also seen Nathan Green hit the outside of the post. But no further goals in this game. We've had our extra time. It will be spot kicks from 12 yards to determine the winner. A cruel way to dis determine the game. Full time score after extra time is Dulwich Hamlet 1, Hendon 1. After everything that these teams have had to put in this season, their fate will be determined in the cruelest of ways. Penalty shootout. And it's Hendon who will look to get the advantage by going first. And Tangara become a hero. Referee's ready. Up steps Murphy. Just about gets it in the corner, but Hendon importantly get that first goal. Murphy confidently done. Tangara was at full stretch, he still couldn't keep it out. Ashley Carew. Dulwich scored every penalty they had this season. They scored all seven. He scored all of them. This is bigger than all of them though. And he scores as well. As you'd expect from the talisman, Lovelock went to his right, Carew went to his left, and we're one apiece. Ollie Sprague is coming next. Dulwich fans doing all they can to put him off. Scored three times this season. The man who was part of the 2015 side. Long run up. Saved by Tangara. Dulwich with an important save. It wasn't a great penalty by Sprague and Tangara saves. It's going to be Nathan Green to take Dulwich's second. It's to give Dulwich an advantage after two spot kicks. We've seen one left back miss. Green is an excellent second after the season. Scores his! Dulwich have the advantage after two. Thunderbolt from Nathan Green. And Lovelock, like Tangara did for the first one. Went the right way, couldn't keep it out. Michael Corcoran, who came on about five minutes to go in extra time. He came on with penalties in mind, I'm sure. Needs to score this. He saved again, Tangara! It's the same as Sprague's. Tangara saved his last two. Huge moment again.
going to be Achim Pong to step up for Dulwich. It's putting three two up. Need this to go in Dulwich. Not a big run up from the big centre back. He scores though. <laughs> Calmly done by Anthony Achimpong. <laughs> what a big penalty. Composure shown by the big man. Nico Muir, 40 goals this season. He scored 11 penalties. Has to score this. He does, that's calmly done. That is really composed by Muir. And all the pressure is now on Dippo Akinyemi's shoulders. Scores this, Dulwich in the National League South. Lovelock needs to be a hero for Hendon. Akinyemi to seal promotion for Dulwich. Referee's ready, Akinyemi's ready. Yeah! Dulwich are promoted! Dulwich are in the National League South for the first time in their history! Can you believe it? Akinyemi's the hero! Dulwich are up! It's been an incredible season off the field. The fact they're even around to play this game is huge. Dulwich have fought to the end. Spare a thought for Hendon. Kokoran and Uchechi. High penalty saved by Tangara. Karu. Green, Achimpong and then Akinyemi have all scored 4-2 the score on penalties. Dulwich no longer the bridesmaids in a playoff final. They have got promoted. And just look what it means to everyone on the, in the ground. Hendon have had an immense season. But for them, they fall at the final hurdle again for the second time in four years. They led early on, Ashley Nathaniel George giving them the lead for Gavin Tomlin to equalise and it went all the way to penalties and Dulwich have prevailed. They are now a National League South club. They are out of the Isthmian League for the first time in their history, in this their 125th year. They have ended it in the fairy tale manner in which they have deserved.
15. That Vino is just 16 years. Seriously, by the effort, man. Like, oh, seriously, I can't be proud of that. Yeah. Honestly, seriously, see the way I feel now? Right? Mm -hmm. It's not for that, it's my mm -hmm. of kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gavin Rose, National League South manager. How's that sunk in yet? 
Yeah, it has. It has. It's a great feeling. Um, everyone knows the journey we've been on uh, in the last few seasons. Close misses, nearby misses, uh, and the playoffs is heartbreaking. And um, you, you build yourself up, the players build themselves up and go again. And obviously we come out here today, it was a nerve-wracking game for everyone. Um, and we finally got over the line, so great freedom. So until the last sort of 20 minutes of extra time, it was quite a confident performance from us. Obviously then you can see the nerves starting to set in a little bit. 100%. I thought we were the better team in the first half. Um, looked like if we had scored one, it could have it could have been a lot more. And uh, we literally... Um, we literally... <laughs> We literally um, conceded a goal from nowhere. Uh, it's probably the only mistake Amadou's really made. Um, and then it gave him a lot of confidence to get on the front foot. Um, and it slowed us down a little bit. Second half we came out and we, we, we showed a lot more fight and we, we had opportunities um, which we probably should have scored before we scored our goal. Um, and it was a tight game from there on in. <clears throat> I think no team wanted to give anything away. Um, but we always knew that. We don't give away silly goals to be honest with you. And we, we knew that we probably wouldn't concede another goal. So um, we done well. We stuck in it. We showed a lot of heart and character. Things that probably haven't been associated with us over the years. But um, we've proved a lot of people wrong. The players have individually proved people wrong, which is great. Um, delighted for the players and um, that feeling of winning. They've got that feeling now, um, and hopefully that stays with them. I'm, I'm over the moon. What a club! What a bunch of boys! What a management team! What a camera crew, uh, <laughs> DHF, SE. Oh, I can't believe it, I'm, I'm over the moon. I guess they didn't even play today, but that's the kind of day it was. It was just such an emotional day, wasn't it, all the way through? You know what, I've said it from day one, it's about the squad, you know. Um, I've played 50 games this year, um, my legs uh, are definitely feeling this year. Um, yes, I am gutted not to play a part in the, in the final game, uh, for sure, but I can't take it away from anyone. What, what, what achievement, you know? Um, the boys pulled it through. Yes, we took it on penalties. I thought we could have probably nicked it in the, in the 90, um, even extra time, but we took it on penalties. It's a harsh way to, to lose or, or, or um, not a great way to win, for sure. But um, oh, the feeling at the end, oh, mate, I can't, can't put it into words. I've never ever stuck for words, but now I am, you know? What a feeling. Just how much of a hero did Amadou become? Obviously, it was a difficult one for him in the first half after that mistake that led to the goal, but really bounced back heroically didn't he listen the month he's been here he's been unreal i mean we've got the best best keeper in the league called impression um and amadou's come in uh, when Preston was injured and um to be fair he, he's kept us in a lot of games uh, clean sheets he's been keeping um what a guy saved two penalties he's become a, a dulwich hero within within a month and that's a uh, fair play to the kid um, he's, he's class very emotional and at the same time feeling um very proud of what we achieved today it's been a difficult season for the club and uh, I'm very proud. Yeah. Bit of an up and down game for you, obviously the goal you conceded in the first half I'm sure you would have been disappointed but then to come back with those two penalty saves you must be very pleased with that. Uh, yeah, it wasn't easy at all, it wasn't easy. Um, big game especially, so you managed to keep the nerves, You got there's a lot going on. So after that mistake, um, well, I had to keep my head up, you know, still uh, 45 minutes to go, went to the dressing room had all the dressing room behind me so it made it made it easy for me to bounce back from it. Dippo you've scored the goal which has sent Dulwich into the National League South for the first time in their history. Has that sunk in yet? No it hasn't at all. It's just it's absolutely amazing that I, to come from where I've come from and to be where I've been now like and to be a, a promotion winner is absolutely amazing. You know when they said who's taking the pens I was one of the first people to put my hands up, hands up and I was like yeah I'm taking one of these. So when they told me I was fifth and Fergie missed his, I was like, it's going to be down to you. Just had to make sure I'm composed. I knew where I was going from the moment I put my hand up. So it's just, ah, oh, scenes, absolute scenes right now. Junior, the last two years, losing the final has been absolutely devastating for the club. How are your emotions going through right now? Yeah, we'll calm down a bit now. Um, yeah, it's been tough to be fair. Right, you know, I just said two defeats in two finals. Um, lost to Mark getting the semi-final. Uh, it's just, it's a relief. It's more relief than anything, to be honest with you. It's more relief. And it looks like we really deserved it today. The way we played, a lot better than we did on Thursday night. We really played from start to finish. A lot better performance. You know what? To be f Thank you, GT. To be fair, I mean, look at the pitch. Pitch ain't the best. It's not the best pitch. Not like the pitch at Champion Hill. The boys had to adapt. We kind of had to change our style a little bit. And it's just about getting over the line and... I mean, bar the goal that they scored, Hendon are a deadly side, and I think we, we limited them. We really limited them, and 
you know, got a great management team, Gary, Freddie, look, great guys, do you know what I mean? And I think we really, we really restrict them to pot, pot shots. Myron Clunis, 400 games up this season, 100 goals for the club, players player of the year, managers player of the year, supporters player of the year, and now promotion winner. How does that feel, That's that feeling at full time today? Uh, it's, it's a great feeling, um, it's a long time yeah, yeah, coming. I've wanted... Yo, are you ready for me now? Do you want me now? Yeah, right. no, not right now, but come on man, it's still good to play as player and all that. Yeah, anyway, um, yeah, it's a good feeling man, I've been waiting for this for a couple of seasons now, as you know. Um, it's a lovely feeling to get over the hurdle. You, you were there in 2013 when we won promotion from the Eastman South, just asked Junior the same question. How does it compare, the, the success today? Um, you think it's different because uh, one's playoff and one's winning the league, but it's, it's the same. Realistically, the goal is to get up. That's the goal, and we've done it today. And it just proves the doubt is wrong. There's a lot of people out there that say that we're bottlers, that we're the brightest maids, we never get the job done. But just to have done it today, after all the years of agony, and you've been involved in every single playoff defeat down the years, it must be such a special feeling. Yeah, it's a great feeling, and the group deserve it. I mean, um, usually when a group don't um, re reach their targets, it changes a lot. This year, we've kept the same group, added like one or two additions, but um, fantastic for all of us. We did it the hard way, as per Dastalage's way. Uh, but what a great feeling it was at the end, as you saw, sprinting all the way there, thousand fans crowding us, couldn't get off the pitch. That's what it's all about, do you know what I mean? That's what all that running, all those games, all those, all those, all that hard work's about. What was going through your head when it got to penalties? Were you confident the voice could get over the line, or was it just a bit of nerves creeping in? No, I'm very confident. Uh, I know, I know my, my, uh, Amadou's, Amadou's skill set, very good shot stopper, so that, that, that says something, and to keep pressing at the team. Do you know what I'm saying? So it is, it's, that's not that's that's nothing that's nothing that's nothing small. Um, in terms of our penalty takers, for me, the five penalty takers that stood up, all very good technicians, all very good on the ball. So I was happy. Only played ten games for the club, but what a ten games! It's not a bad way to uh, have a career at Dulwich, is it? Uh, yeah, uh, obviously came on, had the support from the boys, and uh, did uh, did uh, did good with the team, and then yeah, looking out for next season now. Let's get Mohamedou in. Mohamedou, what do you reckon of his performance today? I mean, heroic. I mean, I just want to be like you. I'm a role model, man. Come here. What a guy. What nice a guy. Bro. Nice Honestly, one, thank well you. Done, well done, bro. And just what, oh, you can see what it means to the fans at full time here. Just how amazing is it being part of the squad at Dulwich Habit, seeing the fans like that at full time and be, just have, being part of this special day? They deserve it. You know, they've been through a lot this season with the stadium, a uh, lot going on. And uh, it's emotional. And I think they deserve it. They definitely deserve what's happening today and uh, deserve more. And have the players spoken about it beforehand that you know you want to do it for the crowd? Of course, everything that we do is for the fans, for the club, really. So, you know, I'm just really happy. I'm just really happy that this happened. So, yeah, man, up the hamlet. Just how, just how special a group is this bunch of players that you work with? Everyone is. Everyone's contributed to everything, you know, whether it's on and off the pitch. I know we've had a few problems with our stadium and that, but not a lot of players would have been able to hang in where we've hang in with our situation. So, no, we've got a bunch of great lads and, um, yeah, we've just gone from here. Do you say it's a, it's a squad game this year? We've had players not involved today who could easily have been involved, like Tanasha here, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like they've the, the put in uh, the hard yards uh, over the course of the season. It just shows how impressive a squad we've had. Yeah, yeah, um, the, squad, the squad's fantastic. Um, even the people that's gone out alone have contributed to our season. Um, I think it's probably the strongest squad we've had in terms of depth because people are even on the bench. I'm like, well, oh, I'm not starting. So it goes to show we deserve promotion. How much have you enjoyed being here this year? Really enjoyed it. Um, I'm beating zero defeats. Yes, it's, it's yeah. <laughs> 20 games, no defeats. I think Tanasha's has got. Yeah, that's mad. That's, that's mad. Just, it's gone well. It's gone well. I've really enjoyed it. When it went to penalties, obviously it is a lottery. Uh, how much confidence did you have in the boys at that stage? Didn't watch them. Really, just did, didn't want to watch them. I'm just happy I wasn't taking one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've seen you take one before, so we know how bad you are. But in terms of the next season, obviously. If you kept the majority of the squad together, do you think they could hold their own? Given what we did in the FA Trophy last year, that we could hold our own in the National League South? Um, I always believe that when we face um, teams above us, um, we're, as, we're as good as them, or not, if, if not even better. I think we can go for a playoff push again, to be honest. Like I said, I've not. The emotion flooded through me there at the end. I've not felt that since I'm a two. Leo Rose there, my top man. Leo Rose and Lily since I was born. I've not felt that. Honestly, I've not felt that. And. I just had to say to the boys, I'm so proud of every single one of them, you know. They want to do immense pressure because everyone's saying, oh, Dalit's your sure, yeah, Dalit's you got to go up, Dalit's you got the biggest crowds and 
it's tough for the boys. Considering how much fight there's been off the field this year, just, does that make it even more special, the fact that we've been able to get on and just and do what we have done today? Yeah, yeah, you couldn't write the story, could you? You know, we literally have been, um, try, they've tried to bully us. They've tried to bully us out of the stadium. They've tried to make, you know, make it difficult for us financially. <clears throat> Made up debts and all sorts. And then you've, we've got a community rallying around the players, rallying around each other. Um, the players putting in performances when they're not even sure if they're going to be paid. Um, but just, just on blind faith and trust in the club. Um, and then doing that week after week and then finishing today. Like, you can't write that story. So, um, yeah, it's a great, great feeling. All the Meadow team, I'm, I'm hopefully looking and they're, they're crying our eyes out because we just showed them, we've, we've thrown it in back in their face. Um, listen, the players haven't been told too much about it, but we read. We know the situation, we're not, we're not silly. We know it's been a hard, hard, sorry, a hard situation for the club to, to face. Dulwich are an amazing club, they've looked after us, um, they've paid our wages. There's a lot of non-league teams out there who have just folded you know, or not paid the players. Dulwich have done their utmost to pay, pay us off and we've repaid them on the pitch. You know, um, We've tried not to let it sink in, but it, naturally it, it would, would sort of settle in. Some of us might be thinking about the money, but we go and win, do the business on the pitch, and um, we put our fingers up to Meadow. Eh? Might be a bit of a, a late one tonight, a bit of a difficult day at work tomorrow.